guys will have to move and OT invigilates okay. into that. That's <laughs> not... um, I don't think OT instigates. OT. Oh. No. <laughs> Insists. That works, kind of. No. Um. I I don't know. Great, hooray! There you go. Good morning, welcome to the Hobby Breakfast Show. Kicking off your mornings with Wargaming Chat. Haven't done that one in a while, have we? Um, we're going to be doing an army overview, and it's going to be about Rohan. I am your host, Onod. Joining me is also your host, Mare. Hello, everyone. And also, also your host, OT. Hi, everybody. And we're very excited for Rohan. We realise that, you know, there's not as many fans out there as Arnold, but we, we like to look out for the little guys as well. So we thought we'd, we'd pop a, a small army in next. So stay tuned for Rohan. What will you need for rules to play Rohan? Every book. Apart from the ones the you books. don't need. Hand Games Workshop, £150, and you too can play Rohan. Is it really? It's not, surely. It, uh, might, actually, be close it, might, that, actually, it might actually be 150 quid. I think, I think it's 140, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, wow. it's close. Right, let, let's do a live fact check on this. Like, like in the uh, presidential debates where Donald Trump just got fact checks and told that he was a liar every time. Just heading to Games Workshop now. Not not like the actual store, the, the online shop, just to be clear. You hear his front door opening and close. That would be dedication <laughs> to the podcast that I don't have. Oh my god. The the rule books are £32.50, so hmm. you need... Are they all £32? Uh, no, oh. no, no. The expansion books are £32.50, so you need two yeah. of them, so £65. Armies of Lord mm -hmm. of the Rings is £37.50, OT did maths. Uh, £102.50. And then the final thing that you will need is the main rule book, which is... Can't find the fucking thing. £37.50! That's £140. There you go. Wow, very, you go. very close to one fifty, and then I, I re retook back and made a more precise guess, and I was right. That is a lot of money if you want to play um, Rohan. You don't need to do that. Um, I guess it depends on what hero combinations you want, really, and what legendary legions. And once you once you've got most of the Rohan models, you might as well because variety. Yeah, you can play a lot of different legions regardless of what models you have with Rohan. I think it's fair to say, as long as you have the right heroes. Yeah, but we're not doing Legions today, because go watch our other videos, you scrubs. No one's watched them. Why, why aren't <laughs> you watching our shit early videos? <laughs> they have a, a nostalgic charm for, for us and not for you. Mm. <laughs> that's okay. Go watch them. They're, now! They're, <laughs> where are we? <laughs> pause, pause this video. video. Pause this video, Wait. open a new tab, watch that video, then come back and finish this, and you will not be disappointed. As long as your expectations are very low. Yeah, I don't think they're ever coming back to this video. If you like shit takes and even shitter audio, watch our early content. That, that's the yeah. tagline for just the hobby. Oh, for fuck's sake! This is like the Arnold video! Just get <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! So the I overview. I don't want to, you know, make it go too quick. Such we don't have a lot of content for this one. We've got to stretch it out. Then just make the episode shorter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, 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 none of that. That fucking, that fucking commie speak that is. Jesus. <laughs> it's not communist. That's just rational. Oh. Exactly. Bloody anarchist. So the overview. Um, the playstyle, as you might imagine, being Rohan and all, um, revolves around a lot of cavalry and skirmishing. Um, but I would say you could, you could. Well, I was about to say you can play it a lot of different ways, but that's pretty much what you're doing. <laughs> um, 
there's loads of throwing spears and stuff like that. Um, it's it's apparently easy to collect and paint. I mean, there it's in the starter set, I guess, which helps. Not um, anymore. Oh, is it not? What do you mean? It's gone. Pe- Pelinor. Oh, you're, yeah. you're living in as m- many of your your brain cells do, like <laughs> twenty nine. Well, you can pick up a starter set with it, and I'm sure still. You can pick up the The battle host box. (laughs) Yeah, you can do that too. I wouldn't say they're necessarily easy easy to paint, though. But I mean, I, I guess, I guess Uh, they're not that hard. I'm, I'm, I'm refusing to say what you have to paint on them, but we all know. I feel like that meme where everyone's like Bart, say the line. Yeah. That was that was a good moment. I think only we know that reference, though. No one else has. Yeah, no one, no one stuck around long enough to know what. Comment we're below about. If, if you know what we're talking about. They wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, difficulty to play medium. Um, why why is that, guys? Because yeah, odds, when... why are they medium? Because <laughs> with your as... extensive Rohan play... <laughs> playing experience. <laughs> Because as we all know, Rohan, there's so many ways to play them, you can't really put them in the other two categories, can you? <laughs> what? <laughs> it makes sense oh. if you think about it for long enough. The point sweet spot, <laughs> any point you can run Rohan at. Again, because there's just so many ways to play them. Um, cost to collect medium, probably to high if you want to play them competitively, because you'll need to buy the worst value model in the game. Okay. Yes, up, it's up that rant about the Rohan Royal Guard <laughs> on horse. Why do they come with plastic horses? Plastic horses. <laughs> Why are they more expensive than models with metal horses? Why is it that the plastic horse suddenly means that a model that Games Workshop charges £3 for becomes one they charge £12 for? We don't know, but we would like to. Games Workshop, please reply to us. Uh, competitive viability. Um, Good used to be very good. Now good. The end. We move on. Army bonus. I know oh, was, going. Was that someone else's cue to I, jump I in? I thought that the audience would appreciate a change of voice, but clearly they <laughs> the, All right, come on, come on, OT. Uh, the silky monotone fucking vibes that I'm giving off. Right, Rohan Cavalry models gain plus one strength on a turn in which they charged. Very good. Riders of Rohan do not count towards your bow limit. Also good. Means you can actually use the Riders of Rohan without it fucking with everything. Um, Yeah, this uh, army bonus is so good, in fact, that you might want to forego Legendary Legion bonuses to keep it. But don't most... Well, which which Legendary Legions still have it? I'm, I'm sure there are some. The uh, Riders of Theoden have it. Theoden, AMS get a shitter version. Yeah, and true. Do Theodrids keep this one, or is this one? Uh, no, no, I don't. I don't think they, they do. So it's it's those two, basically. Okay, cool. But Dude. yeah, it, it 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 useful. Um, Ot, do you want to take through alliances? Um, kind of what you'd expect, really. Um, they're the only green alliance in the game with Wildman of Druidan. Um, so if you've got Yay. any of those, <laughs> thank the Lord. Got any of those knocking around? Um, fiefdoms is interesting. I feel like that could be more of a thing than maybe it is, but I don't know. There you go. Um, Lothlorien yeah. Ministerial again. You'd expect. Um, for the most part, with Lothlorien, I feel like. Theme wise, you'd probably just take Defenders of Helms Deep, but maybe if you want to keep the Cav, that you would um, stick you might, them in you might a normal like Galadriel, though, for example, or something it's like true. that. It's true. Thing, it's true. Um, and then a bunch of convenience. Um, I'm trying to think. The most useful here is probably Fellowship. Aside from that, I don't really know what else you'd really take them with, to be honest, looking at those. I put Druidan in twice. I'll get rid of that now. Um, but yeah, I feel like, to be honest, do you do you often ally Rohan? Is that a thing? Yes, you ally Earl the Young with Minas Tirith. Okay. 
that's quite niche and i don't think many people do that i think to be honest the legendary legions have kind of superseded the alliances yeah. otherwise um yeah. you, there might be a case to ally in boromir captain the white tower mm. i think boromir only works on ministerith warriors though yeah, yeah, that yeah, might that might not be correct you'd, you'd bring with him other models oh, i see i'm not saying on his own Unlike you, I don't filthily take Boromir and unfluffy list just for his six might points. Boromir was well, it did go to Rivendell, is all I'm saying. It's 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 incredibly themey, I think. Quite a lot uh, of people have been to Rivendell, to be fair. <laughs> Fucking Mare's probably been to Rivendell. Okay. Um anyway, um should we move on to the to the models rather than shilly shining around here all day? And then impossible's okay. everything else. Okay. No, I, I have nothing else to do this evening. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to ruin it for everybody else. Um, cool. Let's move on to the hero models. Um, there's a real big variety, as was hinted earlier with our incisive comments about how many ways there are to run Rohan. Um, and there's I lots think... of plastic, so you, you can yeah. run an entirely plastic army for Rohan, which is unusual for Middle-earth strategy battle game. Hmm. Um, I feel like Theoden is is the model you'd get first, um, just because he's going to be in quite a few of the armies. I imagine you would run. Um, yeah, I feel like the Theoden sculpt's pretty good actually, um, especially yeah. compared to like some of the older metal ones, which were a bit crap. Yeah, it's very nice to paint, and the detail's good, and it's plastic, which is lovely. And if you don't want Theoden, you could instead get. Feodred. And you could run him in his Legendary Legion where he becomes like a little mini, mini, um, I don't know, a, a mini good person at fighting. That was a sentence. <laughs> Theodred is, is good. Um, yeah. He has some interesting rules relating to charging and yeah. stuff like that. Um, all of these characters, by the way, are fight five for people who aren't familiar with Rohan and, uh, yeah, they're they're never the premier heroes, but they're always quite solid. Mm, they they're he... good at they're good at kicking down Rohan, I'd say. Yeah. Like if well, you wanna the... yeah. if you wanna fuck up an orc captain, Rohan have the mm. hero for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the fact I mean the, I guess part maybe part of the reason Rohan isn't as prevalent anymore is that fight five is much more of a thing. And actually if your heroes come up against uh, a warrior who's fight five not even elves, fucking Easterlings and Bjornings and Bjornings, all that shit. Yeah, there's a lot of, all fight, that shit. Five, a lot of fight five in the game now. And yeah, yeah. Um, there are ways to um, obviously get some uh, higher fight Rohan as well, though, which we can talk about later. Um, yeah. Let's keep things moving, though, because clearly uh, OT has somewhere to be. Uh, Ian there. <laughs> what, what, do we, wow. what, do we think, what do we think of Chonk Eomer model, the, the really thick plastic sculpts on foot where he just looks really fat? Um, he, yeah. I'm, it's, it's not even fat, it's just white. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's just a wide boy, okay? <laughs> um, he can be a wide boy. He can be a yeah, wide boy. Yeah. I just don't remember him being quite so wide in the film. No. <laughs> he looks better on horse than he does on foot. Which I guess isn't a bad thing because you're mainly going to be running them on horse. Yeah, it must have been quite an early sculpt. Um, this is plastic, so it's actually one of the more recent ones. Oh, yeah, it's like right. I think the Theodred, the Theodred ones, and the Urken brand's probably pretty old. Yeah, uh, Theodred's will be relatively old. Urken brand isn't too old. He's a newer one, but old in the grand scheme of of our lives. Mm. <laughs> Okay, let's not get too existent. existent. <laughs> Irwen and Dernhelm. I like Irwen. I think she's a good hero. There yeah, you go. yeah, she's good. Uh, but but you, you, the thing is, you'd, you'd so rarely not take her as Dernhelm, I feel like, because you just get so many more bonuses. This is true. There you go. That's my incisive well, comment. We're not being um, very controversial, are we? No. Well, it's, it's, it's not a very controversial faction. Like... Ever since it got, you know, it stopped being OP, it's now just like she's strength three fairly, or four. Fairly, three. Three, because she's be strength four. Sexist, as we know. Yeah, she should be strength four. Mary, um, don't take Mary unless you're taking Dernhelm. Yeah. But Mary is not good. 
Uh, no. Can you even take? I didn't even realize you could yeah, take just Mary. A, yeah, yeah. A specific Mary. Um, All right. For Mer- Rohan. Yeah. Mary and Pippin, oh, you can take. Can, can we? Pick. Can we? Can we just take a moment to appreciate that Mare is a, a GBHL tournament winning player, and yet <laughs> he is so often. This is niche knowledge. Surprised <laughs> by things which are in just the regular army books. Look, I don't just like. It's not like dead time reading, like fucking OT. Yeah, no, that's fair. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Why did you 50 50 me bad. there? <laughs> well, we, because, we know because you weird. actually you actually have it. You, you fucking read it. Like, literally, there's just no disputing it. You, you just, we just caught you reading it. As you were going to bed, and it was just like, why are you just scouring the fucking Lord of the Rings army? Because, like we some were... people, I actually want to know the rules rather than just guessing. We were in his house uninvited <laughs> when we caught him reading it. We were in his the, they kicked down the door, like, you massive nerds. And I was like, why are you here? <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, don't take Mary unless with Dernhelm, because then uh, you get Mary. Um, Erkenbrand. Erkenbrand used to be so much better. Poor Erkenbrand. Erkenbrand, Erkenbrand used to be a dude, and now he's still he, good. Now he's just a guy. He's not a dude anymore. You know, I don't understand the sort of fine detail between being a guy and being a dude. It's it's similar to <laughs> explain it. It's similar to being a, a noob and a scrub. Like the difference between those two, I would say, is a similar difference. Do you know what I mean? I don't, I'm not sure I know the difference. Okay, great. Um, so, um, gambling and what's oh, what is even is it? Hey, are we not, we're not going to talk about <laughs> Hammer. Yeah, there's not a lot to I, say. I like, like, like Erkenbrand. He I has a red shield. D7, <laughs> as we found out. Yeah. Oh, if you yeah, paint Erkenbrand shield a different color, does it still work? Yes. No. no, it doesn't. No, I don't think it should. Because it's not a red shield. If he's, red. it's not WYSIWYG. If it's not red. Yeah, no, I agree. So, so he can't. It's not possible for him to be equipped with a red shield if it's not red. I agree. Uh, gambling, he goods, but not because of him, but because of a bit of cloth he carries, which is kind of depressing for gambling, <laughs> isn't it? People value the the piece of fabric that he carries more than his life. I think that's fair, though. Pretty right. good bit of fabric. Yes. Um, why is it so good? Because you can regen infinite might with the caveat that there's only one hero per turn as of an F. And, and they have to be at zero when you do it. Yeah, but otherwise infinite might. And it, it is very good. Um, he can also regen his own, which is quite useful. So, is it? You know, well, I mean, it's useful if there's no one else near enough to him or no one else on zero might. Like, I, think, might... I think you're in trouble if that's the case. <laughs> You might as well just spend all of Gambling's might immediately, right? Like his should be the first one to be used on moves, I would argue. Yeah. Does he have March? I was about literally about to look. I and think then... he does. I think I think he does. Yeah. I think I think he's basically just strictly better harmer. Well, I don't think anyone takes harmer. No. Does he I even own, have a horse? Can you even I give him hammer? Or yeah, he's, got, he, he's got he's got March and defense. Harmer doesn't even come with um. March. He doesn't have a horse either, does he? Harbour uh, does. Uh, he can, but there's no, no model he? for it. So, oh, well. good good luck. And his, his foot model is not exactly primed for a horse conversion, is it? No. I wouldn't say so. But then again, you could probably just say like the majority of Rohan hero, um, heroes or Rohan models are just Hammer. So, you can just pretend. You can take Hammer's son, which is exciting though. You have like a father son fight. Mm. I mean, not like between them, like together. Yeah, I was going to say uh, the, some kind of domestic argument. All they need to do now is release um, like his wife and daughters, and he would be like a really shit bard. But like really shit. <laughs> Just uh, untakeable. I think his family should make him worse. <laughs> <laughs> Minus one fight if his wife is there. Oh right, should we move on? This is dreadful. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making this so bad, but oh, see, I, I, I think this is the worst thing we've done. I don't think uh, this... we re- record on a work night is what I'm what I'm swiftly thinking, or at least a work when I've been at work. Fucking hell. <laughs> Grimbold, he's strong and tough. 
Can't take but a horse. Not, can't take a horse. He's got the stuff. Even though he's literally on a horse in the book and the movie. Yeah. Come on, Games Workshop. Bring out the new Rohan supplement so Grimble gets a horse. Um, mm, he's new pretty, Rohan supplement. He's pretty cool. What I think Grimble should have, and hear me out here, um, it's it's not going to be an extremely controversial statement. Um, I think he should have that rule that the Knight of the White Tower has, where on a six he doesn't get the minus one for his two-handed weapon, because then I think you'd take him, or at least have cause to take him. But I, I think being stuck with a two-handed weapon and no burly is a bit rough. Yeah. And like he only has strength. If he had a second heroic that was slightly more useful, yeah, he does have make... mighty blow. But yeah, uh, in a, in a game where most chap only has one wound, and mm. um, you know he's not really going to take on a hero fight for like it's not actually that useful. I know it's situationally useful sometimes, but most of the time, like the main thing I could think of it being useful is against a berserker just to make it less likely that they get their save. Like great. Mm. Happy days. I mean he's useful if you're like if you've trapped a hero and you're fairly sure you're gonna win the combat, like suddenly he does become a bit more devastating. Yeah, he's useful like as a expensive um sidekick to a better hero, isn't he? Yes. That's what Grimbold is. He's your sidekick. Your wingman. Yeah. Um I really like Elder Young. That's nice. Um, he's good with Gondor. Yes. At fairly low point. Yes. I think he's quite cool though, and I like that he gets that little rule with the Riders of Earl where they yeah. get two attacks if they are near him. They're they're yeah. devastating when they charge, honestly. Yeah. Three attacks on a charge on a uh fight four model. Mm. Pretty good. Because. They come with they come with axes as well, so you can do the old piercing strike thingy and as well. Aren't they strength four base? Is that right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So it's pretty yeah. pretty good. Um, devastatingly expensive to buy because they're out of production. I've, I've yeah. they're like twenty pound each, but three um, D prints. You know. Yeah, I was going to so. say that's the thing is if if stuff doesn't start coming back into production, that's just going to be like the solution now. It's just yeah, I'll just buy a three D print because like. I can't be asked to wait around forever for them to put them back into production. Yeah, and um, I I imagine that Games Workshop um are probably fine with that. To be honest, doubt doubt that they're massively first. I don't think they'd make enough money keeping all of this stuff in production, would they? Mm -hmm. Um, and this takes us on now to the enormous amount of Forge Worlds um models, which are, are good but very expensive. Well, I say very. Yeah. They're, They're okay. Expensive. They're expensive. Yeah. Forge yeah. World is like in comparison now not that expensive just because everything yeah. else has increased and it hasn't yeah. at the same rate. Yeah. Um uh Elfhelm, he he's a he's a good boy, isn't he? Uh Mayor, you use Elf Elfhelm. You like Elfhelm? Uh, I have. He's fine. Uh he's a bit annoying in that he doesn't have march, um, and he doesn't have strike, so Literally, all you can use his might for is move offs, um, and that's really annoying. Um, it means if you're taking things like uh, Dernhelm or uh, Theoden, who have march, and you'd probably rather keep their might for strike, well, guess what? You're gonna have to use it on them to march. So, um, Elfham's fine, the throwing spear thing's really nice, and as long as you're happy spending three might on move off offs at some point, which to be fair, you probably will as you're a cav army. Uh, then that's fine. Yes. And then Deerwine. Mayor, you've also used Deerwine. I have. Uh, he's a chonk. It's a little bit hard for him to use his rule with Thin sometimes um, because if he... Basically, if, if Thin's in a in combat with someone, then he can do a free hero at combat, but he has to try and join Thin's combat or get as close as possible. So basically, you're getting a free combat, but you then have to join Theoden's combat or try and get close to Theoden. So it doesn't always result in you actually achieving anything. Um, but I guess it's nice if if you can somehow manipulate the situation for that to be good. Um, I guess people in his combat don't have to join Theoden's, a bit like with the, the Sam Frodo rule and stuff like that. So True, yeah, hadn't thought of that. So yeah, you could do that. Um, and he's D7, I think, which is really nice. Yep, D7 with a shield. 
Yeah. And, so and yeah. we we can confirm that he is a chunk. Uh, yeah. Helm. Helm's good, yes. Mm, we, yes, we, very we good. Heart Helm. Yeah. Um, maybe maybe uh, brought down by the fact that he can't have any other named heroes with him. But he on his on his lonesome is good, and his legendary legion. He's a real, real tanky boy. Um, probably the if you were to just like ignore points, probably the best Rohan hero, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Easily. just from a, a purely like stat point of view, but still fight five. Oh, yeah, I think fight five is a bit crushing. It's just sad, isn't it? Yeah, but I, 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 I it's their thing, isn't it? So yeah, you yeah, can't, yeah. You yep. can't complain too hard. Um, doesn't have an armored horse, but his horse does have armor. On. Armor, go Explain figure. Explain it, Games Workshop. <laughs> Explain it. Why? And then we have Haleth, as previously mentioned, the son of Hamar, slash Hammer, because I'm not sure how to say it anymore. Yeah. Um, he gives Rohan infantry. Is it Rohan infantry? I think it's just Rohan models. Just but Rohan he can... models. Yeah. yeah. Plus one I fight. Think... Yeah. Which is and good. Aragorn. And Aragorn. And he is one of the ways that you can fix um, the inherent weakness in your heroes. Yeah. And he's pretty cheap, and he's pretty survivable. But he does have to be in combat to... Yeah. Fitness. But yeah. he's got heroic defense, and he does, I think, have two wounds, is that right? I think he's two wounds, two fate. Yeah, so he's actually surprisingly survivable for a very cheap hero. Yeah. I mean, he's probably not going to do anything other than just... Exist. No, no, but that's okay. Might get, like, a lucky bow shot, I guess. Yeah. And then Aldor, who I think you just take, because why not? For the theme. Yeah, he he gets to shoot first. Um, he he's actually quite useful, as I found out playing against um Chef with uh Gambling's Banner, because during the beginning of the game, when you're not really burning your mic for anything, you can use his one might on his shooting, and then you can give it back to him the next turn, um, and manipulate it that way. So he's like an infinite yeah. king's huntsman, but with worse shoot and not with the in the way thing. But he does go first. Yes, and that is always useful. Um, oh, we've unnamed here. He's Christ. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I thought we got on to Warriors, but no, here we are. King's Huntsman. We recently discussed this in a video about unnamed heroes. Um, I like the King's Huntsman. I think he's fairly useful maybe not worth it because you have so many other options i am willing to admit that but i don't think that he's terrible strength through bow etc uh captain um most of the time in vanilla rohan you're probably not taking him just because there's loads of other options but situationally due to various restrictions of legendary legions you will end up taking them um and they are the standard man captain i think they're only fight four aren't they yep Oof, that's not good, is it? But you, you don't want them fighting heroes, you want them just killing chaff, basically. And also, I imagine a lot of the time you'll be getting the Rides of Theoden rule, as in a Rise Rides of Theoden, which will get them up to fight five on the charge. This is true, yeah, so you can use that. I guess also if they're within, um, if you're taking Haleth and a captain, you can potentially get them to fight five that way. Yeah, there's a lot. There's lots of tools with Rohan to to do stuff and to buff them and things like that. Yeah. Um. Yes. Right. Should we finally look at the the warriors? Indeed. Um. The warrior of Rohan. Um. I feel like they Meh. they don't get a lot of love for no. good reasons. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like in in this world, like like the fact they fight three at D four is extremely underwhelming um i think I they're just... okay with the um spear support thing yeah but then you you end up like paying a premium for the throwing spears because like a throwing spear is a two points so suddenly you're getting like an eight point warrior who's fight three d4 um admittedly it would have a throwing spear but it's still a lot of points to pay for quite a flimsy warrior yeah it is rough that to make them useful they end up being too expensive really um, but yeah, they they um, in some of the um, legendary legions serve purpose. Yeah. Um, Rider Rohan, um, good. 
not the best cavalry in the list. No. They are the most flexible. Yeah. I feel like they're almost just overshadowed by how good Mounted Royal Guard are. Like, I think there's nothing actually wrong with a Rider of Rohan, but yeah, they do, they just don't quite compete with how good um, the Rides of Rohan are. If you want to play Rohan in in the kind of um, most skirmishy way, where you just stay 24 inches away from your opponent and try and hit them on a 5-up shoot, yeah. um, Rides of Rohan are the way. Uh, Especially yeah. if your opponent has no bows. Yes, or if you if you're willing to like maybe lose a couple of riders to take out their honesty bows and then just run away. Um, so yeah, and there are certainly attributions that are built around that. So like EMS, you have to play them like that, um, etc. Um, but fight three, not Oof. not exactly cheap. No, uh, <laughs> you get a little bit of resilience because obviously if if the horse dies, the rider might you know stick about and do something but you're probably going to take a rohan royal guard on a horse if you can yes yes although if you, you can will, aff- afford to yeah, buy them <laughs> you'll have, you have to spend 12 pounds each yeah yeah Whew. for a plastic horse as well it's just awful i, I don't know if people caught earlier but Plastic they have a plastic horse. horse. Thirty-six pounds for three. Thirty-six pounds. That price is only going to go up as well. Like this is it, as cheap as they'll ne- probably ever be. Yeah, it's never going to get cheaper than that. So that is why you should buy them now. Um, and how much is it for them on foot? Eleven pounds. So go remember, figure. twenty-five pounds for three plastic horses. What a bargain! It just sounds so dreadful when you when you actually think about it, doesn't it? Yeah. Twenty five pounds. Mm. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, let's move on from the Royal Guard. The Outriders are a bit weird, but oh, I, like... think, I think we should talk about the Royal Guards because Ugh. they're not just mounted, right? They're on serenity the now. Well, they're yeah. good. Fight for, yeah, fight, fight for. Defense. You take throwing spears, bodyguards. A, a lot of legendary legions turn their throwing spears into regular spears. It's true. True. Take Rohan Royal Guards, they're good, even if you do have to sell your kidney. Yep. It'll be worth it. Possibly. Outriders. I've never yeah. used or seen Outriders. No. It's interesting, because like, they have a three-up shoot, and they're 13 points with a horse, so I feel like uh, as, like, s- pure... Bow limit. Uh, but I feel like, as just a purely, like, skirmishing unit, they'd be quite useful. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to take a, a rounded vanilla Rohan list, you probably do want a couple of these. Yeah. But then also, I think they're a pain to get hold of. Like, they must be quite expensive. Don't they have but... some sort of rule as well where, like, if they're not within a certain inch of a hero, they can still use their stand fast? Or did I hallucinate They that? can use a friendly hero stand fast regardless of range. That's quite useful. That is fair. quite useful. Yep. Especially if they're capping an objective on the other side of the map. And you can get these um, from Games Workshop. £36 for two on horse and two on foot, mm. which makes them marginally better value than Rohan Royal Guard. True. But Rohan Royal Guard, they're not, actually, even, they're not actually in the top ten, but they are just awful. Still plastic horses, though. Still plastic horses. Inexcusable. Come on, Come on GW. Um, Sons of Earl, they are oop. Question mark. No, um, they're not. Over, they're not overpowered. No, oop, as in out of production. Oh yes, <laughs> they are out of production. Yeah, which is gonna make them really expensive. They're cool though, yeah, and like, cool. I think, you know, the whole piercing strike up to strength five thing is obviously comes with downsides. But like on a turn, you're charging with three attacks, fight five. Um, if they're within. Oh, sorry, fight four. Fight four with three attacks. Yeah. I think they're cool. So they need they need Earl to become themselves. Do you remember the previous edition where they were just two attacks base? Mm, weren't they more expensive though? Weren't they like twenty three points or something? I think they were the most yeah, expensive cavalry were, unit in the game. I think they were twenty two base, weren't they? Okay. Yeah, I'd take a Riv Knight over these guys. Not well. Yeah, no, not with they it. were two attacks base. 
Oh, I mean, the Riv Knights get the Lance and they get the Bow. Um, surely, which is nice. Three attacks on a charge makes these it's true. more consistent because they're more likely to actually win the fight in the first place, though. But el the elves are fight five. These guys are fight four. I don't know. There's probably there's 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 yeah. they're, they're, they're 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 fairly good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yes. Right. Should we discuss what Rohan are like in game then? Yes. After that very in depth discussion of the units. Absolutely. We should definitely do that. Uh, they they have a lot of good named heroes. Um. They do lots of cool stuff. Um. You've got your kind of buffing heroes like Halleth who are going to provide useful things and gambling. Um you've got your your combat. They're not they're not like the the best combat beat sticks in the game, but they're um consistent, that's a good word for it, isn't it? Like mm. AMR, although AMR may be a little bit too expensive. You've got lots of like really solid uh, combat heroes. Um and then you've got like good all rounders like Theoden. So mm. generally, like other than magic, I guess they've got a little bit of everything in the hero department. Yeah, and like I mean, obviously they are all fight five, which is which isn't ideal. But for like for killing for killing warriors and stuff like that, I think this is maybe one of the best armies in the game for just like cutting through chaff. And because you've got so much might and so much ability to generate might in just the basic list and with the legendary legion. You're just going to have like so much stuff, like so much maneuverability, and it. I guess it probably does have quite a high skill ceiling as a list, especially if you're taking lots of cav. Yeah, but I, I think you're right though. Like you, you have so much might, and people can run it with just heroes, or they could run it with heroes and a few warriors, or just like mass warriors because that's hilarious. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of like that aspect. Yeah. Um, decent warriors, um, like the Rohan Royal Guard, are fairly efficient for what you're paying for them, yeah. and... especially if they're on horse. I yeah. think I think Rohan Royal Guard on horse with throwing spears is one of the most point efficient units in the game. Like they just give you so much. And once you take one of the legendary legions that makes their throwing spear also a spear, their foot models then become quite efficient as well. Yeah, but they they're not as appealing without those legendary legions. No, um, they've also, of course, got like other good cavalry as we've already discussed. They are good at skirmishing with those warriors as well. So you've got all of that stuff as well. Uh, we've kind of covered, haven't we, variety in discussing the heroes and warriors? Yeah, um, yeah. Um, in fact, I think we've covered all those final bullet points. That was very <laughs> efficient. That might yeah. be the most efficient bit of this video. <laughs> Not a high bar, is it? Only the best. Uh, cons, um, nothing higher than fight five. Yeah, but that's okay. Do you think this is where the uh, Lothlorien alliance shines? Just what well, fight six? Just but one who's fight six. Yeah, Calibor. And you keep yeah. I you could bring like Rumil or Haldir as well, couldn't you? Um, and Caliborn take a horse. No. Nope. Damn it. The only character from Lothorn who can take a horse is the captain, who is still fight six, but that's annoying, isn't it? It is um I, I it causes me so much rage in my everyday life. Good. Should we talk about collecting? Uh, are we not going to talk about the fact they have average infantry and average defense and courage? I think I think we have already mentioned pretty much all of this. I'm not going to lie, but we can talk about it if you'd like to. Uh, we haven't talked about courage. To be fair, I think that, that might be worth saying that they're, they're not the most courageous, but they're they're not like orc level shit. No, but they're they're not as. Um, I guess that's again where the Rohan Royal Guard becomes so good because you just have the bodyguard. That's another yeah. Other to them. Yeah. Good point, Onod. Well made. The regular um, warriors are shit, aren't they? Courage, aren't they? Like yeah, three. three. I mean, basic man courage. Not good. Uh, yeah, let's talk about collecting then. Yes, ba um, the battle host so... box. It is the worst value battle host box for points, but it's all right, and it, it actually gives you quite useful stuff. 
um, some riders, some warriors, AMA. All good. Um, Should have had feared an inch, shouldn't it? But never mind. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think AMA. It, it it's weird because AMA is pretty good, but I don't think he makes it into that many Rohan lists because he's just a little bit expensive. Um, but yeah, like the sculpts on the whole are pretty good for Rohan. Like they've had a good spate of Forge World ones, and even like most of the plastic ones, like Dernhelm's pretty good. And Dernhelm's only like twenty something quid, maybe. Um, I feel like you get actually decent value for that. Yeah. Cool. Um, um, there are too talking. many heroes. I feel like is probably Ooh. maybe a con. Is that possible? Is it possible to have too much choice? I feel like it is. Wow. Because they're also all basically the same. Um, they're uh, none of them. Are, none of them are. None of them are like super expensive Aragorn level. But none of them are no. absolute crap. So it's like, well, I don't, I don't know what to do because they're all the same. Um, but they fulfill, like, they fulfill different roles. Like just because they're the same points slightly. level. I think oh, I, some don't, I don't know. Elf Elm is very different to Daywine. He is um, in that he performs a slightly different role. Yeah. Um, but in terms of like. I feel like it is all slight deviations on a similar thing, like like with the Isengard named captains. Like really, they're all the same, but they all have their little quirks. Um, yeah, I, I'm looking for like you know, like the King's Huntsman's like a very innovative hero as far as MESBG goes, and I feel like it would be nice to have some kind of yeah, cool yeah. mounted thing. Yeah, I hate on him because it's funny because you love him so much, so much. I, I feel like the um, having lots of heroes is uh, for collecting a, a negative and a positive. On the one mm. hand, it's quite frustrating that you potentially, I can kind of see where Mez coming from, you have to have a lot of heroes to switch them out for not a huge amount of difference. Like, yes, there's the in-game difference, but they're still a fight five hero. They probably have three attacks, they probably have two wounds, and they probably have three might, one will, one fate. Like, or or something along those lines. Um, yeah. But on the other hand, like hero models tend to be the things which are the most fun to paint, the most fun to collect. Yeah, they're more expensive, but you know they're a little bit more interesting, aren't they? In just painting the the warriors. So I think from a, a collecting standpoint, it's not necessarily a, a negative. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's, and like uh... I, the the cost is very variable, isn't it? It depends on what you're building. Like if you stay away from Royal Guard, it's actually pretty affordable. But if you want to run like a fully optimized Rides of Theoden list, that is going to be quite expensive. Um, and there's not a lot you can do to get around that. Um, I mean, if I guess if you're if you're planning to take it to a tournament and you check ahead with like the TO and they're okay with you like taking a third party miniature or whatever, you could save yourself a lot of money. But Otherwise, you're just gonna have to buy. I mean, in a like a 700 point list, you might take like even like 10 to 20 royal guards, and that's like 150 quid or something. Yay, money well spent. Um, <laughs> should we have a look at some list examples? Ot, uh, where did you? Where? Which part of your brain did these come from? Uh, the part of the brain that uh, is on the internet um i got this from tell me a tale great or small um because i've never played rohan but was given the job uh despite being the only person here who's not played rohan i was given the, the job of writing a rohan list so um this is what they put down it also neatly means that i didn't have to put in the effort of writing them and i'm not responsible if people don't like them so it's can, it's two can birds we, can we just take the opportunity to say if you want some uh middle earth content that's better than this tale <laughs> is available in both blog and podcast form oh dear good it's glad we're plugging other people's <laughs> you're, to someone. you're welcome listener okay um okay. but yeah i mean i, I this one just um, this so this is for Helm Hammerhand in in the Legion, which is where he becomes Mighty Hero. Um, you can see the theme here. That there's a banner. There are some throwing spears. Um, the captain isn't mounted. Oh, I don't know. I feel like 
if 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 I was to fiddle with this list, like obviously I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'd take away a few of the worries of Rohan and put in a few more horses on the Royal Guard and the Captain, maybe. But I think the idea of this is to have like actually a reasonable infantry block and then have Helm riding around, chewing through whatever he can get his hands on. That's fair. I like it. I think I think it's a good points level for Helm. Um, I think he- Helm is probably good between like. 350 and 500 would be my guess Hmm. um maybe even a little bit lower like i I, the thing is even at like 500 i don't think anybody's gonna be able to handle him because he's just gonna have too much might and doesn't he get free heroic combats or something yeah Yeah. free combat and a free might point each turn yeah so like you could you can move off and combat in the same turn which is pretty brutal um unless you do and all of them will get spears on foot yeah, throwing spears. Hence the the throwing spear spam on this list. Yeah, yeah and throwing spears. Are, throwing really spears good. are good. Like yeah, I think I think they're they're quite really they're quite di- they're quite difficult to use. But the fact that you can move full and still throw a spear is quite good because it gives you even if you're only hitting on a five, it does give you an effective range of like fourteen inches, which is pretty good. Yeah, fourteen um, inch threat range for foot, eighteen on yeah. calf. Yeah. Which is good. Fourteen inch threat range for an infantry model. It's pretty good. It means you can yeah. fight other infantry as well. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But moving on to the seven hundred point rise third in the list. Um. This is again from Tell Tale, Great or Small. Uh, basically, this one is just. I think with rides of third and because of the death special rule, you're just massively incentivized to take as many heroes without completely screwing over the list. Um. So that's basically what this one is. Um. You have to put in Theoden. I feel like you're nearly always putting in Gambling. You're nearly always putting in Dernhelm. And then it's just your choice of like Elfhelm, Aomer, and Deowine, basically, as to what you think fits best. It's interesting they've put the banner on the Rider and not Royal Guard, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like Bodyguarded banner would be nicer, but I, I presume there's some there's a good reason. Maybe it's so you can keep it a bit more range. You don't have to charge in using your bow, but then you could just put throwing True. spheres on it. So it Maybe they were just trying to do it WYSIWYG with what they had. Because yeah. I've I've got one, and I, I would rather put it on a raw guard, but I don't have a raw guard with a banner. Mm. Do they make a model for that? No. Not for the raw guard, but I think they do have one for the rider. Okay. Yeah. That's probably why. This That's list, it. though, pretty good. Yeah, it's got a lot of a lot of power to it, doesn't it? On that, I mean, how much power. might how much might is there? Twelve. I'd probably drop Airmare to be honest. Yeah. What he for Elfhelm or, or just a regular captain? Um, Elfhelm, and you could get a couple more guys, um, yeah. or an all captain for some more march. But you've already got gambling and Theoden, so and Deerwine as march as well. Mm. Um, I just feel like Airmare is like one of those heroes that. Whose rules were written when that seemed like a good stat line for some reason, and now it's just like, well, he doesn't even does he even have I mean, a special rule? What is his special rule? Uh, he, he rages out, out, rages out, or yeah, right. So basically, he doesn't have one. Or when Theoden dies, is that? Yeah, I think it's both of them, isn't it? Not so, yeah. dreadful. Extremely situation. Well, in this list, you've got both those heroes, so it's not exactly an active special rule, though, is it? Um. Uh, it says active next to it. Okay. Um, <laughs> I knew that Got was him. <laughs> oh, oh say all the rush. Um, I, I, I feel like if you were going to run Eomer, um, at least in this list, you have both Eowyn and Theoden to help activate his rule, though. I mean, to be honest, you just run him for him just base I think like he's just like a very very solid hero he's like Shagra in Mordor like it's just lots of threes he's pretty survivable um, and like Shagra does have a cooler special rule but Hermes mounted and can take throwing spears which is pretty cool yeah and I mean four attacks on the charge with three might, three fate yeah. three wounds Not it's not awful is it like he's, no. he's gonna do work he's probably your best bet of striking up and killing a an opposing hero in this list. Yeah. Agreed. 
Why didn't they uh, include fucking um, Grimbold on horse in this list away? Ha, 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 ha. We move on. I was going to try and make a version of what Mayor took to that um, 800 yeah. point game we did, but I couldn't remember what went in it. So. Oh, it was... the, the Riders of Ro um, the, the Warg attack one. Theoden. It was Theoden, Aragorn on horse. Uh, so, so it was Theoden without his armor or his shield. And he just had a normal horse. Then it was um, Aragorn with Anduril on horse. Then it was Legolas with armor on horse. Uh, Gimli, um, who um, is theoretically being a passenger. Um, and then a uh, rider with banner. And then I had, I think, maybe four Roar Guard, and the rest were riders. That was my Warg attack themed list. Um, it was it was actually okay. It was it was pretty. I mean, you've got all mounted heroes, so like that's a lot of versatility and power. You can hit where you want, um, and it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah. It's not, I mean, you lose your army bonus, which fucking makes no sense. But I guess because you're technically having to take fellowship. Um, yeah. Obviously, the fellowship was broken before they got to Rohan. So, um, but I think I think so... I think. So three hunters pretty... should be its own faction so you can ally it properly with people um good that takes us to the end of um before you buy brohan we did it we made it through and some of that will be usable yeah not all of it yeah definitely not all of it um good uh join us next time before you buy for inserts army list here Thanks for listening, everyone. We will see you next time on the Hobby Breakfast Show. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Wow. Wow, that was in sync. That, that was...